David and I drove south towards Florida, where a very excited group of friends had arranged a series of 10 gatherings at various Unity churches and course groups. As we entered the state of Florida, the air conditioning in our car broke. I asked David if we would get it fixed, and he said that it could be expensive, so we would wait to see if an air conditioning shop presented itself in a clear and obvious way. Attack thoughts and feelings of grievance ran through my mind. Why can't we get it fixed immediately? David isn't with me in this. I don't agree with waiting to see if getting it fixed is obvious. I need air conditioning. Why am I in this country? New Zealand is nothing like this. David is tight with money. I would just get it fixed. <laughs> so that's the barrage <laughs> of attack thoughts in response to to David's response of we'll, we'll listen to the, and see what the Holy Spirit's guidance is. I attempted to forgive the thoughts and feelings of discomfort by silently giving them over to the Holy Spirit. But I was struggling with the heat and with deep resistance in my mind. I could feel the intensity of the ego wanting to justify something. As the traffic grew heavier, I could feel that more than wanting to let go of the attack thoughts in my mind about the heat, I wanted David to know that I was very uncomfortable and needed the air conditioning fixed. <laughs> I made a few comments about how hot it was and how there wasn't any breeze at all and how I hoped that we could get the AC fixed. As we continued to sit in the traffic, I fantasized about stopping in a restaurant for a cool drink. It seemed that David and I were not on the same page. I could feel a sense of separation from him and was afraid to risk suggesting that we stop somewhere in case that was not guided and I turned out to be wrong. I didn't know what to do. All I could say was, it's so hot. By now, sweat was forming a little pool down my shirt, and I had my feet up on the dashboard. In, my resp in response to my comment about the heat, David looked directly at me with his piercingly bright blue eyes, and he said, Oh, you're having hot thoughts. My initial inner response, inner response, mind you, I'm still like hiding a lot of these, these thoughts, they're private thoughts because I'm trying not to have them and thinking this is so not spiritual and I'm, I feel guilty and wrong for even having them. And my mind is attacking David. So my inner response was one of disbelief. Oh my God, are you kidding me? Of course I'm having hot thoughts. Who is this man? How could he not be affected by the sweltering heat? He isn't human. And then it clicked. He isn't human. The one who was speaking wasn't coming from a human perspective. Somehow, through my foggy, heat-affected, unhappy state of mind, I caught a glimpse of something, a wisp of a distant memory. I could hardly catch hold of it. It was like a thin piece of string that was blowing in the breeze. I focused my mind with all of the desire I could muster, turning it away from these grievance thoughts and in the direction of receiving help. The thin piece of string transformed into a rope and I grabbed hold. I looked past the victimization feelings and closed my eyes. I went into prayer asking to see my underlying beliefs. The following beliefs rose up and I was willing to be wrong about each of them in order to have them lifted from my mind. I believe I am hot because the sun is beating down on the car 
and I'm willing to be wrong about this. I couldn't imagine what difference it would make to say I was wrong about this because it was so obviously a fact that it was hot. However, I continued with my forgiveness practice. I believe I'm hot because we are in Florida, in a heat wave, with no air conditioning. Holy Spirit, I am willing to be wrong about this. I still felt like a non-believer. I believe I am hot because sweat is dripping from my body. We are stuck in traffic. I can see the tarmac melting and heat waves rising from the car. I dropped deeper into how I felt and then I got in touch with fear. I am afraid that the heat is hurting and damaging me. That felt real. I want to see this differently. I am still affected by this world. I get headaches and I want to protect myself. Okay, I want to give this belief to you, Holy Spirit. I took a deep breath and I could feel the tension lifting from my mind. And right as I gave over the last thought to the Holy Spirit, a cool breeze floated in through my open window, kissing me on the cheek. I laughed out loud, delighted. A cool breeze, I exclaimed. David, right as I gave over my hot thoughts, a cool breeze came. David was just as delighted as I was. We beamed with joy, reminded yet again of how loved we are and how everything works together for the highest good. To go through the fire in my mind and pop out the other side of such intensity felt huge for me. It was a miracle. Minutes later, the traffic disappeared and we were on the open highway. Windows rolled down and the music turned up. We sang along happily and enjoyed the rest of our drive together.